So busy morning in Providence and across the state as the kids getting back to that back to school routine. Yeah, you're going to see plenty of those big yes. yellow school buses out and about today. 12 News reporter Kayla Fish is joining us live from the bus yard in Providence. Going to start getting busy real soon there, Kayla. Hey, good morning, Danielle and Patrick. That's right, there is plenty of energy and excitement here at the first student bus yard in Providence this morning. Soon, all of these big yellow school buses behind me will be hitting the road to bring students to their first day of school today. Now, I want to give you some background about First Student. It is the largest bus operator in the state for school buses. The company contracts with about a dozen districts like Providence, Warwick, Cranston, Pawtucket, Warren, Jamestown, and many more. But like a whole bunch of other industries, COVID had a pretty negative impact on their driver workforce. All across the country, in fact, there are school districts dealing with the shortage of drivers. Now, I spoke one on one with Bill Roach, who's the head of operations for First Student in Rhode Island. He tells me that's not really the case here. He says they've hired more than 140 employees so far this year, including 70 since June alone. We're cautiously optimistic coming into this year. Uh, certainly the pandemic of, of 2020 uh, put a damper on our uh, recruitment and our hiring process. But I think we've made some great strides this year, made some adjustments, raised wages significantly um, through, our, uh, through our union contracts. Uh, we've also added some additional benefits, whether it's paid holidays or uh, paid sick time. Now, coming up in the next half hour, we'll have a closer look at the situation here compared to years past. We'll also have additional details for anyone who might be interested in becoming a driver with first student. We'll see you back here in about 30 minutes. For now, live in Providence this morning, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News. Across the country, school districts have been struggling with a shortage of bus drivers. What about here in Rhode Island? Well, Kayla Fish spoke one on one with the head of the state's largest <clears throat> operator. She's live now in the capital city. Kayla? Hey, good morning. That's right. Despite dealing with the lingering effect that COVID has had on their driver workforce, the head of first student here in Rhode Island tells me that they're cautiously optimistic heading into this school year. Now, I spoke one on one with Bill Roach. He says while they're always trying to find additional drivers, so far this year, first student has hired more than 140 new employees, including about 70 since June alone. He tells me they have more than a dozen drivers in training right now. They should be hitting the road in about a week or so. They've also added more routes compared to last year, and he tells me they've worked to hold on to the employees they already had. Here's more of what he had to say. Well, I mean, there's always going to be a challenge. There's, there's no doubt about it. Uh, I think we're in a much better position than we were last year. Uh, our retention efforts, typically over the summer, we lose anywhere between 10 and 20 percent of our employees. This summer, uh, we've lost uh, less than 10 percent. So uh, we did have, uh, we, we kind of put a full court press on our retention efforts and, uh, and really, uh, really kept our employees because we value our employees. Now, Roach tells me they're always looking to hire more CDL drivers who operate the traditional 40 foot buses, as well as van drivers and bus aides as well. If you're interested in applying, you can find more details right now on our website, WPRI.com. In Providence, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.